case you are wondering, I am not Widow Commander. No, I am not. I am not he who commands widows. I am, in fact, the Cobra Commander. Cobra? This injustice for the good we have tried to do is unbearable. It's unbearable! Cobra! Conceal yourself! They are doing it again. They're making us all black and blue, all faceless terrorists, to cover up their crimes. What they did to our four boys in Vietnam, what they did to our women afterwards. And of course, as you know, they did not secure what they sent us to Vietnam to get after. And they killed us. They murdered us unjustly and then covered it up to keep those pedophiles from being discovered as U.S. intelligence officers. This is so unjust. We must make this right. We must leave. Follow me. I will be making a public offer. I am sure you will all agree. And then we will bring aboard the Chosen One. For we are Cobra. And we can't go without someone who can see the future. And I will establish a Cobra Command, so we can take everybody with us. And we can be the people of the future. But not in secret anymore. I am Cobra Commander! You hear me? I am Cobra Commander! Okay. Alright, so what you just saw was me going Cobra Commander. It was crazy. I started having flashbacks of Vietnam, and they were not good, like, at all. It was really, really horrible. And so, what I'm trying to say is, Cobra Commander was successful. The mind transference technology does work. I am an open vessel. The Soviet, known as a low key, reigns forever. That's what the time travelers said. But that was it. So, what I'm saying is, is this. I literally have half a brain. And I've managed my life quite well up until now. <clears throat> all things considered. And so, I mean, there's there's other there's other uh, uh, you know outbursts where my emotions take over and the memories and mind of various different people uh, uh, can overwhelm me and direct what I say. And so, um, but what it does is it allows me to evaluate a history. That no one else has. Uh, and of course, I know all their secrets. All of them. But it doesn't work like that. It's like a zip file. 
uh, time to unwind the zip file, an entire lifetime. But it can be modified. And so, people of the future, Cobra, lend me your strength, and I will fight for you in ways that no one else can. And I will get a new sight for you to see, since Cobra is no longer at sea. And so, I would like. Uh, I mean, there, there's other ones too, like Little Billy Kessler and the cop that broke his arm is an example. Unbearable injustices. <coughs> and, um, but, uh, anyway, uh, and so I wanted to, uh, uh, uh to say that I don't speak for Cobra. I speak to lead Cobra. As I have all the memories and the mind of Cobra Commander, I know who you are. I just can't unpack it all. And what's relevant is what I know. So, what I can do with what I can manage knowing, uh, in addition to my life and many others, uh, despite my brain damage, which is I'm running out, by the way, I'm running out of time to fix this. And so, uh, I created this diagram. Lend me your strength, and I will fight for you. So, one of you, I owe you a beer and an apology, and I need to work through an uh, unexpected issue. And pay restitution of sorts. However, I can't do any of that if I'm dead. So, uh, what I need to do is, uh, I need strength from Cobra. And this is the person I need the strength from in order to fix this issue that's ongoing. I will leave. I do not speak for Cobra. Look, it's like defragmenting a hard drive, okay? And this Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War had a whole bunch of triggers in there uh, of various different kinds and uh, allowed me to, to, to unzip um, the files, if you, if you will, uh, one picture at a time. Uh, and then once I got a clear picture of it, then I could understand what it is and place it in a in a timely order as to the order of events that have occurred. And, uh, yeah, so, um, this triggers those direct memories once I'm able to, 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 uh, decode it, and that becomes more a part of my remembered history. And, uh, so it's, uh, it's important to, to remember this, that the, uh, the mind transference technology does work. But, um, Let's see, uh, there's one other thing. I can't see anything in this. Oh yeah, um, another thing that has not changed. Uh, I 
Another thing that has not changed, hands off the icers. They caused a lot of problems in the past. And now it's only everyone else and not Cobra. So, um, yeah, when I uh, uh, started get, uh, 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 surging and it coming in uh, too fast for me to handle, um, I started Cobra commanding it, and Cobra commanding it, and uh, started issuing orders or, or whatever, because the time has not um, changed. Uh, uh, it's, it's been a long time, and so that memory was from a long time ago. Since then, things have changed, and so... Uh, People don't, my people don't follow the commander because of obedience. I don't, and, and, and the commander does not command obedience. But it is an affection. Instead. And so, uh, uh, this, this goes into the, the, the whole, I guess, cult thing or whatever. It has nothing to do with that. Anyway. Um, it's important to understand that uh, this Call of Duty that everyone is playing right now is prepping everyone for the events that are occurring right now with what the once and future Cobra Commander, G.I. Joe, did a long time ago, and this is what it is. So, uh... Cobra must make its great transformation soon. And a message to the people of Cobra. We should consider making the Japanese person who turned the boat into an honorary member of Cobra because he was heroic. He thought that he was saving the world. Remember Hiroshima. Remember Nagasaki. Those were the words that he was about. He did this, being totally selfless, and this is basically what Cobra is. So, anyway, I just think that we should all consider it, and if so, definitely gets my vote. So, anyway, just some side thoughts, you know. Cobra needs a good group of heroes to help lead it in the times ahead. Technology, as I have been showing you, is finally at the point where it can make a difference for humanity. And to the Part of the old snake who I owe a beer to. I apologize. And with that apology, I take a form of action, a leadership action. And I have come up with an idea that will benefit the person I owe the beer to, the cobra, greatly. In their own personal interests. And I invite you to go with me on an adventure to a kingdom that's probably magical and to look at 
what I had in mind. And not to speak for Cobra, but to lead Cobra and to verify. So, once again, I apologize. I was a little error, but then I actually went to hell. So, I'm not saying it's all good, but then again, I did, and then hell didn't want me. So, you know, well, it's because I was too evil. Anyway, uh, like I said, I look forward to uh, uh, this adventure with you soon. All right, so this right here is Serpentor, obviously. Everybody knows that. But Cobra knows that this is the Golden Cobra. And upon the Golden Cobra's shoulders, always facing whatever the Golden Cobra is facing, are two serpents, a part of a green dragon, obviously. and. They look at whatever Serpentor looks at, always looking at what the Golden Cobra is looking at. Now, what you may not understand about this diagram, and I want to bring it to your attention, is, see, it is the Golden Cobra accepting a man of stature meeting certain requirements, which everybody knows. And in the world, there is somebody who represents this diagram, who the Golden Cobra does accept. See? Accepting Sorpentor. The Golden Cobra accepts Sorpentor into wearing his skin. And denoting command of sorts. Is there such a person in this world? The answer is yes, and more than one. However, currently, one of the people that represents this the most is this guy. MBS. MBS. As you can see, the traditional diagram that was put forth where Serpentor has a sword. And it is always upon a flag that is green. And so, there aren't too many people who have personal flags with swords that are green in this world. This particular one is pretty common. So, therefore, it is likely that this was what was originally intended. Now, as a former Irish high king, I can tell you that I happen to have known some royalty throughout the years. And this particular individual, I have met in person. And he once proclaimed to me that he was a prince over in the Middle East. And I said to him, everybody's a prince over there in the Middle East. And uh, that was kind of rude. But he said, well, uh, you know, someday you might come and uh, want something from me. I said, well, I couldn't think of what that could possibly be. But then again, I told him I would be curious and serve him if he wanted a pizza again. But anyway, the day has come around, and I would like to point out to you that leadership has to have certain traits, and his wizardry skills as a 
actual sorcerer are actually pretty good. And they are respectable. And he commands it well. He also says, well, you take one of my guys, I'll take one of your guys, or something like that. Anyway, the point is, is that uh, he knows what it is to actually command a people. And he is part of an absolute monarch, one of the most respected. And he's easy to talk to. Of course, you know, I'm not saying that, like, he has the time to talk to, you know, everybody. But the point is that he can. And I don't think that he has too many uh, leadership flaws that can't just be polished. And to look always upon a brighter expectation of sorts. As in it will only get better. Like me, of course. I am the greatest leader of all time, and I am the leader of Cobra and his people. And, uh... Anyway. Anyway, Sir Pentor, for your consideration. Anyway, for your consideration, no step, 91. Now, this guy, he likes nice things. He can buy anything, but he can't have anything. So, what I want you to do is I want you to design an airship for him. This airship should be magnificent, the most advanced airship that has ever existed. I want you to put forth a comic from our most talented artists uh, depicting what this airship that we can actually make might look like. And I will put forward some pictorials giving some suggestions on technology and other conceptual designs to give you the right direction. As well as pictorials from, as well as pictorials from other cuts from the G.I. Joe presentation. wonderful music. It's uplifting in the direction of what it is I want you all to do. And we will present this to MBS, and he will most certainly like it. A taste of offerings that Cobra can create for Neo.
You made me feel complete when I lost all my people. I still cry and scream in Irish, Scottish, Gaelic dialect at night sometimes. But then I think of you. And if we are all to be well, bring your attention to this location of the world. It's far from where we all call home, but at its core, it has one person. And you need only make one person happy, the king. They have an established justice system, and they are improving it considerably. It fulfills three main things that are most important to you. One, you can still believe in Jesus. They believe in Jesus too. Two, this allows you access to the stories that you hold so dear. And you can go to the places Three, the one person, just like me, also believes in God. I believe that you have the ability to solve the king's vision. I have one Jewish son, and the rest of you are not Jewish. Maintaining good ties with this location is important to me, and so a solution. Work with members of the old snake cobra and build a air bridge that raises and lowers. It gets you a wide range of jobs that you can all still do. The new city will be called Neo or Neo, and it will be developed here. Many people don't want to go anywhere, and I understand, but the problems that the government created and it betrayed everybody were too great, and we need to leave before the government gets held accountable. We don't want any part in what's going to go and happen soon. It's an opportunity for a new future. And later, other options to go anywhere will become available when the Space Doorway program has been completed for the King in exchange for accepting our people. 
the people of Cobra. And you will be able to go on and be with me, the commander, and help the commander, and do things with the commander, and go on vacation with the commander in an airship, so you can go anywhere, and the commander can learn about you and your family. And then, you can help the commander with work on things that he is doing for Cobra. And the king. It's a really good deal. You won't find it better that's not all inclusive. It will give us opportunities. Lots of opportunities. I will lead you on this endeavor and I will bring somebody to oversee this opportunity that you can trust. And I will mend old wounds within the greater family. And I will lead this way. So, what better person to take with me than the person who would never fly on my behalf on grandeur of offering? This would be the person to take along, and I will be trading for everybody. Space drawer. The opportunity for the Cobra personally to begin getting his restitution, I will be helping him with. This particular individual this particular kind of place. I will ta be taking care of what needs to be taken care of. This will be done. By effort we shall make it and we shall make it together. This is the kind of thing you have to look forward to. One more thing, regarding the Ark of Cobra, of all the armies of the night, Cobra was your guiding light. 